Hello and welcome to Cryogenic Power, a presentation by Todd Smith and Nace Crawford. Cryogenic Power is a disruptive technology for a greener planet. How would you like, like to nearly triple your current gas mileage, create a smaller carbon footprint, and substantially reduce the cost of transportation? Well, finally, you can with Cryogenic Power. Our value proposition is that our disruptive technology allows passenger vehicles, trucks, buses, trains, other motor vehicles to get up to 2.6 times their current gas mileage. So if you have a Toyota Prius that gets 55 miles per gallon, it can get up to 143 miles per gallon with our technology. It can be adapted to current vehicles or built into new ones. The system utilizes waste heat and liquid nitrogen to power a turbine that creates electrical energy and eventually it will create mechanical energy for direct power to vehicles. It will initially cost $6,200 for each unit. We expect to drive that cost down considerably over time. So essentially the technology works like this. In item number 103 you have a storage tank for liquid nitrogen. Item number 106 is your typical combustion engine that provides exhaust heat 118 to a heat exchanger in 109. Now, as liquid nitrogen meets this source of heat, it boils, creates gas, and creates a tremendous pressure. Nitrogen, liquid nitrogen, is a cryogenic fuel, so it's very cold, and when it re meets heat, it heats quickly and produces a lot of pressure. And that pressure is fed into a turbine, which in turn creates electrical energy and the only uh, gas emitted from this pr process is excess liquid or excess gaseous nitrogen, which is vented into the atmosphere, a completely harmless gas. In fact, it is 78% of the air we breathe. So assembly of the unit can be done uh, essentially off the shelf by purchasing the components and assembling them together. Uh, starts with a heat exchanger estimated to cost about $400. The turbine generator is estimated to cost about $2,000. A dewar, which is essentially the gas tank for liquid nitrogen, it's an insulated tank, um, that'll cost about $1,800. And then all of the electrical components that, uh, that combine the system together will cost uh, essentially another $2,000. The industry outlook, essentially nitrogen augmented systems don't exist. It's a new technology, but there are alternative fuel uh, systems that exist and the biggest players are in natural gas and propane. And as far as natural gas, there are 15 million cars globally, not that many here in the U.S., only 250,000 or less than 0.1% of the total vehicle market. Uh, it is expected to grow at 10%, so there's a huge opportunity uh, to introduce new types of technologies and fuels problem with some of the existing systems for propane and natural gas is uh, refueling. Uh, it essentially costs 1.25 to 1.75 million dollars to introduce a single new fuel to a single station. Now with liquid nitrogen there is an existing infrastructure for medical supply and welding supply stores, albeit not at uh, off ramps to freeways, but it is readily available all over the country. The industry outlook. So as we look at what's going on with natural gas in particular, the market is expected to triple by the year 2020. So there is adaptation to that. There is growth in the infrastructure and, and distribution of fuel, uh, but it is somewhat um, retarded by that, essentially by that high cost of introducing that fuel to, to fueling stations. So customers, uh, research has shown that 40% of U.S. consumers would pay more for alternative fuel vehicles if there was a payback period in the form of uh, reduced costs for, for fuel. Uh, so part of the issue is that you have to educate uh, people and, and alter their mindset as far as what we're doing. 